Yeah, welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's now time for Today in History, and I'm going back all the way to 1976 to tell you what happened on the 16th of June this year. And this story, you know, was a very dark day in the history of South Africa oh. because, you know, lots of school children came out to protest in their thousands against, you know, reforms in the education system that didn't seem like it was geared at progress, oh. you know, especially of the blacks in South Africa. So what happened was was that in South Africa, you know, it was during the, you know, the heat of the apartheid era in the country. So the government had just said that um, the, 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 the language Africans would be used to teach in schools as well as English. Sure. You know what, they, they didn't really love the idea because they said it to focus them, it, or it will force them to focus on the language rather than the subject matter oh. that's been thought. Imagine being thought in, for example, you know, even though it would be a great in idea, in, in, exactly, imagine being forced to be thought in a, in a language you don't understand. Uh -huh. You would, you know, it would be sort of a, like a barrier to learning because the particular I, I subject. I want to concentrate on learning the language before even learning exactly, the, the subject exactly. matter. Exactly. Yeah. So um, about 2,000 students participated in that protest. They say they must be taught in English that they already understand. You know, they went to school that day to protest. Even those who went to school um, without having any knowledge of the protest, mm. volunteers joined strong. the protest. You know, the plan was for them to all march to a stadium called Orlando, the Orlando Stadium okay. in Soweto, South Africa. You know, so uh, when they began this peaceful protest, peaceful march against the imposition of, a, of the language in their school curriculum, um, based on the African Medium Decree of 1974. The police, you know, stopped them on the way, you know, unleashed your dogs at, at these school oh. children. The school children killed the dogs, yes. and then the police began to spray tear gas canisters and even live bullets at, at the children. children. Some of the children were killed. You know, some news sources would tell you that as much as um, 176 school children were killed. Others would tell you that about 700 school children were killed. Yeah. So it really just... Um, was a time when the political consciousness of everybody was was high, especially mm. that of children, because they were able to see firsthand the segregation that was happening mm -hmm. in the country. Education was free, supposed to be fair, but for indigents of South Africa, it wasn't so. Mm. There was lots of discrimination in the quality of the education that they got, and now in the language or the medium with which you know school work was going to be was going to be thought. So people didn't really agree with that. You can see pictures on your screen. You know, a man they're carrying a a, a boy supposedly dead. You can see people screaming. You can see the look on the faces of people. About 2,000 people coming out mm. to protest, you know, the injustice, so to speak, that we're faced with in that country. So now eventually this, this uprising, this event in Soweto, uh, June 16th of 1976, uh, was adapted into a movie in 2003 called Standard. And uh, it was just movie. basically, oh, you, you watched the movie? Yes, I, I saw clips of it. Fantastic. Yeah. So he just basically, you know, went on yeah. to, to, to describe the events of, of that day. Now, this day in history um, is, is being remembered as Youth Day in South Africa. In South Africa so, yes, yeah. Youth Day has been celebrated right now in South Africa to say this is the day where, you know, black children were killed in mm. their hundreds uh, because they were protesting against uh, Africans uh, being used as a medium of education in the country. Yes, also today in history, uh, in 2019, uh, Hong Kong is our next uh, port of call uh, where they experienced the largest protest in the history of the country. Basically, the issue was uh, in the extradition of um, Hong Kong to mainland China. Uh, it is reported that about two million people, you know, participated in that particular protest that they, uh, you know, they just sat in. You, I remember, uh, you know, uh, monitoring that particular story during 2019 and uh, how almost every Every day, the numbers were increasing. Even when police fired tear gas and uh, you know shot at uh, some protesters, they were not uh, you know deterred. They kept on um, at it. Let me just reel out some of the highlights of what happened at that particular time. Uh, nearly two million people, like I've said, uh, uh, took part in the mass protest in Hong Kong against a controversial extradition bill. It would be the largest protest in Hong Kong's history. A uh, police said the turnout was 338. At its peak, the masses turned out despite the suspension of the bill, which would allow extradition from Hong Kong to mainland China. The demonstration began early in the afternoon in Victoria Square with many wearing black. 
The progress of the march was slow as the large numbers of people blocked main street and crowded train stations. As darkness fell, protesters started to take over major roads and crossings and surrounded the legislative council building. There was skepticism among some protesters about Ms. Lam's decision to suspend the bill. The, the, the residents of Hong Kong actually came out in one voice, they were, un they were not deterred at all, and uh, they marched for several days. It wasn't just a, a dating, you know, for a very long time. You know, so when we had uh, you know, the NSAs and protests, uh, when Nigerians were all united, I, I couldn't help but uh, you know, be reminded of what happened in Hong Kong in 2019. So this Hong Kong protest in 2019 then was a very big issue of controversy because yes. we know that, you know, when you're talking about Hong Kong, former British colony, mm -hmm. 1841, and how, you know, they eventually reached the agreement in China, you know, one government, two systems, yes. you know, fighting for their autonomy. And, you know, there was this extradition bill to say that criminals in Hong Kong would be extradited to China, China. to face, to face, you know, the trial, judicial you know, system, that, they have yes. to face trial. You know, but people were really opposed to this. They said that if if people, you know, who have been, you know, accused of any crime would be extradited from Hong Kong to China, mm. it will lead to a gradual erosion of the judicial system in Hong Kong, Hong Kong yes. and that people who are critics of China would be easily targeted and, you know, just sort of send, them, exactly, send them over to China, face the judicial system. And, you know, this, these were the fears that people were having and they were angry with Carrie Lam then mm. for her support of the bill. So that basically was what spurred this protest. And... Um, you know, just like you mentioned, it was the, the largest protest in Hong massive. Kong's history. Two million people came out from that early afternoon to Victoria, Victoria Square, yes, you Victoria know, protesting Square. against that extradition bill to say that they refused to let that stand. Even when the, 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 the bill was repealed, you know, the protest, you know, continued. That was to show you how determined and how they actually spoke with one voice and they just wanted to work in unison. You know. Exactly. And, and the great thing is that on this day in history, the protests that, that occurred June, June uh, 16, 16, it was relatively peaceful because unlike protests that we've seen in, in days you know, leading up to June 16, where police and protesters clashed, this one clash. police didn't really, oh. um, you know, uh, w w the police was not violent towards no the violence. protesters. No and uh, it was, you know, two mil nearly two million men demonstration in Hong Kong oh, and they did they, they did have some a, impact a countries uh, some countries and population indeed, coming indeed. all out at the same time to protest uh, in uh, alleged injustice as it were so yes, that's what we have for you today in history. 1976, the Soweto uprising, where um, estimates say 176 or up to 700 mm -hmm. children, you know, were killed so in sad. Soweto so when sad. they were protesting against, you know, the medium of language and then um, a medium of 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 teaching, um, you know, in South Africa yes, as well as so in 2019, nearly yeah, two Kong, million two people. Two million people came out to protest. protest. Yes. Oh, wow, wow. So yes, that's it for you today in history. We'll take a break here and um, we'll delve into our first conversation of the day. And it's about insecurity. Um, what happened in Plateau State, about 12 people, 12 men um, who were reportedly killed. So we'll have discussions with both sides, people who are saying um, herdsmen did it. other And the herdsmen um, grouped the Mieti Ala saying, no, um, they didn't do that. And just the accusations, counter accusations, and just what the details were um, about that uh, killing and attacks in Plateau State on Sunday. This day would also be right back.